JWST has been showing off its ability to image stars and galaxies alike in a unique image of part of a dwarf galaxy called Wolf Lundmark Melot, or WLM for short. It's a unique galaxy that sits close enough to the Milky Way that JWST has the power to resolve individual stars within it. But it's not too close that it's interacting with us loads and it remains a pretty isolated galaxy. Not that you'd guess that from the busy image packed with stars and galaxies that we've just seen from JWST. We'd describe WLM as being a galaxy in our galactic neighborhood, as it's relatively nearby at about 3 million light years from Earth. This is a bit of a sweet spot because it's distant enough that JWST can image loads of stars at once, but still close enough to make out individual stars in that image. That's what you're seeing here in this near infrared image from JWST's NERCAM detector. Each dot is a star in this dwarf galaxy. We can see a variety of colors, from blue all the way to orange and red, telling us there are stars of all different sizes, temperatures, ages, and stages of evolution. The extended objects, or ones with spiral shapes and interesting features, those are the background galaxies. Much more distant than WLM, but still visible due to the incredible light collecting power of JWST. These poke through the star field and refuse to let the background of a JWST image be completely black. Notice that in these more distant galaxies, we can't see the individual stars, and we just see them as one larger galactic object in the image. Some of them have a really perfect spiral shape, and some have epic tidal tails, while others are just a bit more jaunty. As ever, download the full resolution image from the link in the description of this video and spend some time exploring it yourself. Then let me know your favorite detail or galaxy you can find in the comments below. I always love to hear what you can all find. The brighter objects with spikes coming out of them, those are stars in our own Milky Way galaxy that just happen to get in the way of the telescope's field of view when we point it at this patch of sky. They seem way brighter because they're much closer to us and this incredible brightness causes these spikes to appear in the image. But they aren't real spikes. I have a full video explaining the exact reasons they appear, which I'll also link in the description. This galaxy is also interesting because it seems to be relatively isolated, meaning that it hasn't interacted with other galaxies or systems. This makes it a great place to study gravity and the formation and evolution of galaxies. It's not entangled with the Milky Way or another galaxy, and it hasn't been disturbed by mergers, so it's a really pure place to study how galaxies form. The other really interesting thing about this dwarf galaxy in particular is that the gas within it is really similar to the gas that would have made up galaxies in the early universe. It's very chemically unenriched, meaning it has very few heavy elements and is primarily made out of hydrogen and helium. Heavy elements are made in the supernova at the end of a star's life. However, supernovae also create a galactic wind that can blow these gases away. In low mass galaxies like this dwarf galaxy, the gravity struggles to hold on to these heavy elements and they get blown out of the galaxy altogether, leaving a very pure and unenriched environment. The WLM galaxy has previously been imaged by Spitzer, an older infrared telescope, and Hubble too. While those images are impressive, just look at the incredible improvements that JWST has brought us. Enjoy the view, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment or a question too. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!